if you're a woman and I've been struggling to date people, not necessarily to find someone to date, but to get in a committed relationship with someone and you feel that, you know, all the guys are players, they never commit, they always leave anytime we talk about commitment, perhaps you're suffering from the Cinderella complex. And I will explain that it's fascinating to see how this story somehow shaped almost a generation of women nowadays and why right now you need to break free from this complex. I'll explain everything after the jingle. I get my ex back.com. Everyone deserves a second chance. So the story of Cinderella, we all know it if you don't know. <laughs> it's basically a story of a young lady who is living with her stepmother and her two awful uh, stepsister and she's doing all the uh, chores at, ho at home, uh, sweeping the floor um, and, and, and she's living in the, um, in the attic where there's no heating and her only friends are uh, mice and birds. But she's so kind, so caring. She never complains. She's beautiful. She doesn't ask for anything. She just, you know, she's just there. She's just perfect in that sense of very much a candid woman wanting to just to do what has been asked to her. So in a way, a woman should be, so when I say it's sort of um, almost a, a story that influenced a lot of women, of course not all women were influenced or are Cinderella, but I, I want to really challenge this and perhaps something that would change the perspective you see on yourself and on other women in your life. If you feel like as a woman, I need to be pretty, I need to be smart, I need to be polite, I need to be supportive, I need to be caring. If you think about those elements, it's not something you would say to a guy. A guy you would expect other things, but not all of those things that sometimes contradict each other, right? Loving, caring, smart, polite. It's very, so it's very much like the whole package, right? And also be quiet and pretty. That's what senior LA is. And don't go outside because it's dangerous. This is all the complex of Cinderella thing. You have to be all of these things and don't take too many risks. Don't go out because it's dangerous. The underpinned limited belief here, and I've done a, a workshop on limited belief um, recently. Have a look in the description because um, there, there's a link to my community where I share all the uh, private workshops that I do with my members. There's a replay and additional um, uh, materials on this. It's fascinating because usually when people struggle with uh, heartbreak and uh, getting back with the ex, it's because there's a limited belief behind. So have a look. Change, it's only possible thanks to outside support. Right, in Cinderella, she's in a terrible situation and the only way for her to escape her shitty life is to hope that the, it's actually, she actually doesn't ask for the fairy godmother. She shows up <laughs> to her place. And then her only way to escape the reality is to get that prince to marry her. It's the only way. What does that mean? She doesn't control that. She, you are denied the, and I'm quoting the, the work from Colette Darling, Who's theory, um, who did this theory around uh, Cinderella complex and is a famous uh, feminist. I have a look about her work, it's, it's really interesting. The, you're denied the ownership of personal victories. Where Cinderella succeed, it's not about her, it's because people showed up. <laughs> she didn't do anything. The fairy godmother transformed all the, uh, the mice and the lizard and the, the pumpkin. And then the prince, she, he chose her. Why, but what did she do? She just showed up, she was just her. And that implies, unconsciously, that we need to seek for the one. We need to seek for that person who would help us be whole or half. The person who would take care of things, right? And that denies you of the ownership. That denies you of I own my life. 
I can do things. I can take responsibility. I can make my own decisions. Right? It's very important. Because sometimes, a lot of little girls, especially in my generation, now it's different because Disney are changing a little bit. Um, like, um, what's the movie? Frozen. The prince is not so charming. It's very interesting because perhaps, and actually there's a debate, is Elsa gay? That's another story. Uh, but it's very interesting because unconsciously we seek the one, that prince, that person who will save us from our miserable life. It doesn't work like this, unfortunately. If you want to be independent, strong, decide for yourself. There's no prince. It's only you first. So the thing is, it's rooted in childhood. That lack of affection in childhood, perhaps strength, strict parenting. There's like not necessarily highly dysfunctional families, but when there's conflicts between uh, mom and dad. And as adults, what we seek is what we lack. And we, some people, sort of uh, lack this affection from our parents. And they need to fill those emotional gaps with that primary attachment figure. And that's why I'm making this video because I think this Cinderella complex is really, um, there's a big correlation with people who have or feel anxiously attached people. And the, the consequences from a psychological point of view is you have this unhealthy emotional connection. You become submissive to that, to your primary attachment figures. You say yes when you feel no. You accept things that you wouldn't accept if, you know, or you would say, you would criticize a friend if she was, uh, if she was accepting the same things. And so you have this, people who have a high uh, tolerance for power abuse. They learned to be a victim and they accept this role as a victim and they end up in relationship with narcissistic people and then they keep on wondering why they end up with narcissistic people. There's also this sometimes very uh, this hard uh, ability to defend yourself in front of others and to show up and to show off. Right? It's very important. So how to break it? Gain better understanding of how you built these beliefs. Perhaps it's by watching Disney movies, perhaps it's by other things. It's so important for you to learn how to express your needs. The problem we have, people who are anxious, and I tend to do that sometimes, is we seek validation, right? Our value depends on what people think of us. I'll tell you a very, very personal example. This video, I don't think will have a lot of views. But when you create content like me, there's always this um, vanity metric, which is the number of views and the number of likes. Hi. And it's very hard when I post a video, and I'm for, honestly, I'm really proud of this video I'm making right now. It's very hard to see that one video will underperform. And then I would start you know, challenging whether the quality, whether the content, whether I'm discussing, the way I share the story was the wrong way. Thinking like, am I, should I do, should I make other videos? So it's really hard and we all seek validation and social media is the worst for that. <laughs> My job is not really easy in that sense. But it's very important we're all, if we go back to the relationship aspect, when you're with someone, be aware of seeking validation, of saying yes when you feel no, just because you're so scared of abandonment. Just to show, because there's this deep drive to please the other. And by doing that, you forget yourself. Don't be a Cinderella. Your partner or your ex, if you're trying to get back with your ex, will fight back. If you respect yourself, if you really draw the line, they will respect you. If they don't respect this, they're not the right person. There's also an element of if you've been like this forever and you start to fight back, it's going to be hard for them. They're going to be a, you know, really 
uneasy about this because you used to be the side you used to say yes to everything so you know why why out of a sudden you say no to this you, know, you always say yes you always say you don't care and some people they like to have their partner submissive if you want to break from that cycle draw the line you're not submissive anymore and that's your job to draw the line to respect yourself reframe the fear so breaking from a toxic relationship is not giving up you're not giving up anything Breaking from this relationship is freeing you up. You're breaking the chains, right? The problem is that you've created mentally in your head those chains that are preventing you from being yourself, that are keeping you attached to something that's toxic. You have to break free. Remember, today is the day you decide you don't need validation. You don't need anyone to interfere in what you feel is right because that's your opinion what you feel is right is your opinion you don't need anyone's validation especially if the person you love don't understand this remember this you are not Cinderella and anytime you doubt yourself anytime you feel like deeply I, I want to say no say it say it and remember <laughs> Maybe watch Cinderella tonight. Remember, you are your own boss. You don't need anyone's validation to be happy. I hope this video was helpful. If you've learned something new and you want to share it with someone, don't hesitate to share it. That will spread the message across. Anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. Take care of yourself. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer.